Being isolated in the middle of nowhere can be scary enough without adding murderous psychopaths or demonic entities into the mix. This is why the popularity of horror movies set in the woods has continued to grow among cinema goers. Welcome to Stream TV, and in this video, we'll take a look at the top 10 horror movies set in the woods. Number 10. Cabin Fever Five college graduates decide to rent a cabin in the middle of the woods. Soon after arriving, however, they begin to fall victim to a horrifying flesh-eating virus which attracts the unwanted attention of the homicidal locals. Can you help me? No, 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 no. She's not coming near me! What's your your problem? The special effects and the artificial gore of the film were so realistic that when crew member Robert Jones took home one of the decapitated body props, he was pulled over by the police and held at gunpoint because they thought the body in the passenger seat was real. The officer continued to hold Jones up at gunpoint until they were able to confirm that the lifelike body was only a prop. Number 9. Wolf Creek Three stranded motorists thought they were lucky when a man offers to help them fix their car. Instead, things turn horrific when Liz and Christy discover that the Good Samaritan is actually a murderous bushman who takes them captive and tortures them. The production cost of the film was only $1.4 million, but amassed an impressive $15.8 million on initial release. While some critics praised the film for its grindhouse aesthetics, others complained that it was too realistic with unrelenting depictions of violence. Others have said that the film is grossly insensitive to families who have had family members go missing while backpacking. Number 8. Mama Worried about competing with Paranormal Activity 4 at the box office, Mama was initially postponed. The decision may have paid off, however, as the film grossed an incredible $146 million against its $15 million budget. The film tells the story of Jeffrey DeSange, who goes on a murderous spree after suffering a breakdown. After killing his estranged wife, he takes his three children into the woods to kill them too. Suddenly, a mysterious entity stops Jeffrey and kills him. The girls eventually end up at their uncle's house, but it seems the figure that helped them in the woods also followed them. Interestingly, Mama is played by a man called Javier Botet who has a rare genetic disorder called Marfan Syndrome. It is the symptoms of this disease that gives him his slender body and elongated fingers. Number 7. Sleepaway Camp This cult film that is infamous for its shock ending follows a traumatized girl called Angela Baker who, after losing her family in a tragic boat accident, is sent to summer camp with her cousin. Although things seem to be going fine at first, a string of murders begin to happen. Of course, we'll have to wait for the medical examiner to check him over before we can be certain. Of course you're going. When Felissa Rose first starred in the feature, she was only 13 at the time, which is unusual for a feature film. Usually, studios would cast actors who were 18 or over, but looked younger due to restrictions on using actors under 18 for long shoots. In the infamous ending sequence, where Angela is seen naked, the filmmakers used a man wearing a special mask cast from Felissa's face. Number 6. The Ritual A group of friends come together after a long time in order to plan a vacation, finally deciding to go on a hiking trip in Sweden. When one of them is injured, they have no choice but to cut through the forest. Unfortunately, a horrific rainstorm starts and they are forced to spend the night in a creepy, abandoned house. This is ridiculous, man. Luke, you're getting soaked. You hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. Come on. The original tagline for the ritual was supposed to be, they should have gone to Vegas. But due to the 2017 massacre in Vegas, they changed the tagline to, they should have gone to Ibiza. One small detail, the ritual was shot in the Carpathian Mountains of Romania. Number 5. The Last House on the Left When it was first released in 2009, The Last House on the Left was met with mixed reviews. Some critics ranked it a B-movie, while others rated it much higher. Regardless, it grossed over $45 million worldwide. Wes Craven, who wrote the original 1972 film, was interested in seeing a remake done with a much larger budget and wasn't disappointed with the end result. This remake tells the story of a gang who kidnaps and tortures two innocent girls. Coincidentally, the same group must take refuge in the home of one of the victims. When the family discovers what the men did to their daughter, they begin to plot their grisly revenge. Number 4. Evil Dead A Hollywood remake to its cult classic predecessor, The Evil Dead scaled the gore, special effects, and the overall feeling of hopeless seclusion. The story, which is very close to Sam Raimi's original, 
follows a group of teenagers escaping to a remote cabin in order to get some rest and relax. Unfortunately, after awakening the ancient demonic spirits trapped inside the Book of the Damned, they must fight for survival while trying to contain the evil. If we don't do something right now, we're all gonna be dead by then! The film used 70,000 gallons of fake blood in its production, with 50,000 gallons being used for the final scene alone. When comparing it to the 200 to 300 gallons used in the original movie, the 2013 version took bloodshed to the next level. Because of this, most of the movie was filmed in chronological order, as once the walls and floors of the cabin were soaked in blood, there was no going back to how it looked before. I had to do it. Number 3. The Blair Witch Project When a camera is found in the woods, cinema audiences didn't know whether they were watching real-life footage, as its documentary style, along with the performances of the students, were so convincing. What added to the mystery was the fact that the actors were listed as missing or deceased, which only furthered the intrigue of the movie. In actuality, the actors had signed waivers to stay out of the public eye until after the film was released in theaters. I am so, so sorry. The discovered footage shows the group's mission to find proof of the infamous Blair Witch in Burkittsville's gloomy Black Hills Forest. The film made a staggering $248 million on its $60,000 budget. This means that for every $1 spent, they saw a $10,931 return. Number 2. The Cabin in the Woods The winner of five Fright Meter Awards, including Best Horror Movie, Best Director, and Best Screenplay, The Cabin in the Woods toes the line between homage and making fun of horror movie tropes. It tells the story of five teenagers who head off for a weekend at a secluded cabin in the woods. They arrive to find that they are isolated with no means of communicating with the outside world. After the cellar door flings open, the group goes down to investigate. It is beneath the cabin that they discover strange items, including a book that one of them reads from. The evil summoned is similar to that of the evil dead, but as the film progresses, it's clear that things are not as obvious as they seem. Our number one pick is Predator. What was to become a franchise that spanned three decades, Predator is a classic movie that is regarded as one of the top sci-fi horrors in history. The story follows a team of special force ops who are sent on a rescue mission to find survivors of a helicopter crash in the deep jungles of Central America. They soon discover that they were not only sent on false pretenses, but they are being hunted down by an invisible extraterrestrial warrior who can track body heat. Predator was shot entirely on location in Mexico and was rated as 7.8 on a scale of 10 on imdb.com. Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.